guys, it is Nick here once again, uh, doing another Dungeon Defenders Eternity video. As you can see, this was uh, Ember Mount Volcano on hard difficulty. Um, and basically what I'm doing right now is I'm on the last wave, going to run around, show you guys my setup, um, where I have everything. Um, this has basically been the kind of best way it could be set up better obviously um, but with DPS characters running around in the game uh, it should work perfectly fine the same thing should work if you're on insane uh, you could probably change around the places where the bowling ball turrets are and obviously fully upgraded they'd be doing a lot more DPS um, I was just playing by myself had to keep the physical beams upgraded uh, fully so by the time I got enough mana to do that each wave I basically was out um, <clears throat> excuse me, and so um, right now I'm just running around about to start the last wave. Uh, so you saw my stats before, it's about 1250 tower DPS, and about 360 tower speed. Um, those are definitely not ideal for hard, um, obviously I could have more DPS, I would say baseline uh, 500 speed, 1500 um, tower DPS. So I could probably take away one of those ball turrets that was up there. Um, this one was here. I had a harpoon, um, as you saw, plays backwards because these genies um, and spiders like to spawn in absolutely random places, uh, <laughs> random bouncer blockade. Um, so basically, if you guys have DPS characters, you're going to want them to run around, as always, and attack the ogres. <laughs> Um, or just kind of play defense around where those physical beams are once the mobs build up. Um, that is basically all I have for you guys. Um, once again, bowling ball up to the right. A couple of the harps down here. Physical beams in the main uh, bottleneck areas just to kind of keep all the monsters um, at bay. Um, kind of grouped up. Uh, this build works pretty well. Um, as you guys see, if you continue to watch, I do not do the boss um, the boss instance. I actually ended up losing because obviously I am on a 5k DPS character. Um, so at that point, I just kind of broke all the stuff down, trying to isolate it down in the middle, but too many mobs coming around. So um, yeah, actually at this point, I kind of thought that I was going to lose. <laughs> But I ended up pulling through, got rid of the rest of these monsters. I ended up just throwing down a bunch of random turrets here in a second. Um, so once again, this build was kind of ideal up where everything was. But during this last wave, you will need uh, DPS characters running around. Uh, depending on the tower stats that you guys have. So um, This map was pretty fun. It actually is very very hard to build on uh, with 120 defense units. Um, yeah, I mean, as you guys can tell, I've got everything just kind of scattered in random places. This little area right here actually did really well. Never had issues there. Um, main area, once those two bowling balls up there behind that physical beam and that harp turret broke down is when I kind of needed to start building down here on this last wave. Um, but once again, uh, you know, with DPS characters around up there and fully upgraded turrets, you won't have that problem. Uh, fully upgraded turrets of my stats, which are like 1,200, uh, I believe they're about 36k DPS per bowling ball. Um, and like I said, with about 500 speed as opposed to 360 that I have, um, they shoot out pretty rapidly. So it normally works pretty well. Uh, here I am breaking this stuff down because the boss wave is kind of approaching and because all that stuff up there was already done so it just came down here to throw some more random stuff um, ended up not really needing to there's only two left so um, basically this is what I got for you guys so if you guys enjoy what we do um, subscribe like share the word we are doing a thing to where when we hit 250 <laughs> oops down I go when we hit 250 subscribers, we are going to be giving away a free copy of Dungeon Defenders Eternity. Um, along the way, we will be giving away a bunch of random games that I have gotten um, over the past year or so from Humble Bundles. I can never say that fast. Um, I have 
a whole mess of games. Some of them are really good, some of them are kind of random, but no matter what, it's all free stuff. So um, tell your friends, spread the word, uh, do whatever you guys have to do if you guys show some interest in this. Um, you know, obviously, we will keep this going. Um, so hopefully we will be putting up some more videos soon. Thank you.